What's going on, everybody? I'm your boy, Retro Bliss, and I've got another great Atari 2600 homebrew game review, Spiders and Flies by Game Select. This one goes out to my daughter-in-law, Corey. She just loves spiders. The game comes with the game cartridge, a full-color manual in Portuguese, and a collector's card. The art on the game box is very nice and reflects the idea of how the game is played. The actual game cartridge does have a screenshot of the game, with some additional characters included. The game cartridge is also numbered, which is a nice touch. As a collector, I like that. The end label is pretty basic, no artwork or special fonts here, but it's just an end label. The game manual, although in Portuguese, is very well done. I got this manual by mistake. Game Select said that they would send me the English version, but I was okay with just getting the PDF, which they happily provided to me. In this game, you're a fly who tries to defend itself from an attack of a family of spiders. When a fly eats food, it vomits before it eats, so the fly shoots this vomit to defend itself. There are cycles of combat, meaning that the baby spiders become smarter in their attack, which makes the game harder as you go along. As the attack pattern changes, it somewhat reminds me of how the tires come at you in the Activision game Mega Mania. The mother spider gradually comes closer to you during the game. You can send her back a step with every three shots that hits her. If she gets too close, she quits sending the baby spiders, but this also means that she's about to kill you. At some point, the mother spider also shoots web balls at you. It's suggested by the programmer to keep the fly as close to the center of the screen as possible. You'll have better reaction time and more escape routes from the center. This is a simple game and reminds me somewhat of the 2600 homebrew game Galactopus. This is only a 4K cartridge so the sprites and graphics are pretty basic, but the gameplay is good and it keeps you wanting to play the game. I'm a big fan of anyone who creates new games for the 2600 and I do my part to support the homebrew community. If you'd like to purchase this game, you'll have to contact Game Select through their Facebook page. Once you do that, they'll contact you with information on how you can get the game. The shipping cost from Brazil is a little high, but they'll probably offer you a discount for buying multiple games. If you do that, then the shipping cost becomes very reasonable if you break it down for each individual game. I do suggest checking out their other games. They have great games to choose from. Had these games been released during the life of the 2600, they would have no doubt been classic titles. Let's check out some gameplay of Spiders and Flies. I appreciate you guys making it to the end. If you like this review and would like to see other reviews from us in the future, please subscribe to the channel. It's totally free for you, but it helps us out a ton. So with that, have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next one.